Hello class. Today we will be speaking about nutrients in food. This is lesson two in natural science and technology for the grade sixes. In today's lesson we will be looking at food groups. So first of all we need to know that all living plants and animals need to feed or eat to give them energy to carry out their life processes. For example plants. Plants make their own food from the sunlight that they get, the carbon dioxide, as well as the water that they get from their roots. This is called the process of photosynthesis. Next, we look at animals. Animals cannot make their own food and need to eat plants or other animals to get their energy. Humans are the same. They also have to eat plants or animal products to get energy to grow and develop. Let's look at the classification of food groups. The food we eat can be grouped or classified into different types or groups. We call these the food groups. There are four main groups and each food group does a different job in the body. The first one is carbohydrates. Then we get proteins, then fats and oils, and lastly vitamins and minerals. We classify food according to these food groups, although most foods contain a mixture of more than one food group. Now we will look at the different food groups individually. We will look at some of their functions as well as a few examples. The first one we are looking at is carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are the most important and prime source of energy for your body. Carbohydrate also stores energy for your body if it needs it at a later stage. Carbohydrates are an important part of the body structure. Now let's have a look at foods containing carbohydrates. Pasta, bread, cereal, potatoes and rice. The next food group we will be looking at is proteins. Proteins are the building blocks for our body. They build the body's muscles. They also help to repair hurt and broken tissues. They are used as a reserve energy if there is a shortage of carbohydrates. Now let's look at some foods containing proteins. Nuts, eggs, chicken, fish, cheese, beans, and meat. Next, we will be looking at lipids. Lipids are fats and oils. Fat is stored around organs like the kidneys to protect them from injury. Fat is also stored under your skin to keep us isolated, which just means to keep us warm. Fat can be used as reserve energy if there is a shortage of carbohydrates. Let's look at some examples of foods containing fats. Peanut butter, butter, nuts, avocado, and cooking oil. Lastly, we look at vitamins and minerals. Vitamins and minerals are essential to the human body, and yet we produce very few of them ourselves. Many important minerals are contained in the food we eat, and two of the most important ones are sodium and calcium. Sodium helps to keep the correct balance of water in the body and is found in most foods, where calcium is important for the strengthening of our bones and teeth. Most vitamins are manufactured by plants, so we get vitamins from the food we eat or from the vitamin supplements that we drink. Now, let's take a look at some foods containing vitamins. I've made a table for us showing us the different vitamins, the source we can find it from, as well as their functions. The first one we will look at is vitamin A. Where can we find vitamin A? We can find it in egg yolks and in any dark green vegetables, for example broccoli. 
The function of vitamin A is that it enables the eyes to produce a pigment that helps us to see in dim light. Next, we see vitamin B. We can find vitamin B in brown rice as well as whole wheat bread. Vitamin B is important for the chemical reactions of breathing. Then we look at vitamin C. We find vitamin C in citrus fruits and strawberries. Its function is that it strengthens the body's immune system by increasing its ability to fight infections. And lastly, we look at vitamin D. Vitamin D can also be found in egg yolks as well as the sun. It's used for the making of strong bones and teeth. Well, grade sixes, that then brings us to the end of lesson two about nutrition in food. I hope that you enjoyed this lesson, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact me.